అయ్య నా పేరు నాగార్జున రెడ్డి కుందూరు నేను మార్కాపూర్ నియోజకవర్గం ప్రకాశం జిల్లా ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ నుంచి ఐ కంప్లీటెడ్ మై మాస్టర్స్ ఇన్ ఐటీ ఫ్రమ్ యూనివర్సిటీ ఆఫ్ హ్యూస్టన్ క్లియర్ లేక్ టెక్సస్ ఐ డిడ్ మై బ్యాచులర్స్ ఇన్ కర్ణాటక ఐఎమ్ ఫ్రమ్ ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ అండ్ ఐ బిలాంగ్ టు మార్క్ అవర్ కాన్స్టిట్యున్సీ ప్రకాశం డిస్టిక్ ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ ప్లీజ్ my constituency name is uh, markapuram western prakasham district it's actually the western prakasham where lot lot of drought area we have very less rainfall and we face lot of issues with the water and also lot of issues with the uh, health related so this event is really really a uh, great one because you know uh, putting together like you know uh, not only different states different parties different religions and making sure like you know together for bharat it's really a good concept where this happened like you know uh, in the last 75 years i believe this is the first one putting a step forward considering it as you know we are for india we are one for india though we have lot lot of diversities we are one for india and this is a really great initiative taken by the uh, mit asoji mm-hmm. 2019 is my first election so this is the first time i got elected from ysrcp party ysr congress party uh, president by uh, our chief minister uh, sri y s jagan mohan reddy gar so he is the one who started the party and uh, 2019 is my first election and uh, 18600 is the uh, majority which i got and uh, i believe uh, this election has taught a lot though my family is into politics for the past 51 years and uh, my dad and uncle they both are into politics but this is my first election which i learned and for the past 4 years i've been doing lot lot of service i've been experiencing a lot and a uh, lot of stories for us to see and learn and also do service i truly believe in uh, subhash chandra bose and gandhi and later on into politics i have seen dr y s rajshekhar reddy garu he is chief minister of andhra pradesh and my dad my dad is my hero like i could say uh, i have been seeing him for the past uh, since my childhood he is always into service uh, he always used to say like you know we also have to serve and make sure we always have to have peace with each each and every one irrespective of different parties or irrespective of different entities so i learned a lot from him and uh, learned a lot from uh, dr vyas rajshekhar reddy garu i truly believe in uh, subhash chandra bose and mahatma gandhi yes. like, you know i could say is you no know, patience is very much needed and presence of mind every day we meet hundreds of people who have a lot lot of issues we can't carry our emotions from conversation to conversation we have to make sure the emotion or any kind of issue has to make sure that one minute or five minute conversation with that particular person has to be with that particular person it can't be carry forward to the other person the next person expects you to have uh, expects you to have the full presence of mind so that we have to make sure whatever the amount of time we are allocating like 1 minute 2 minute or 5 minute or even half an hour 
we have to give that person the full amount of presence of mind which is really needed and we need to have the complete subject for us to explain that person or guide that person in a really good way so uh, patience and presence of mind and we have to make sure that uh, we have to understand the actual need of the person and also actual need of the consultant Indian democracy we are actually enjoying the freedom comparing to the whole world comparing the whole world india is the best country to live in and india is giving the complete freedom to each and every individual it is up to us to believe in ourselves to believe in the country to make sure that india is giving us freedom comparing to any other country in the world the only thing is what we have really have to say to the young generation is a democratic country when you are saying about india though it is of large population large populated democratic country in the world and it is still giving out such kind of freedom to every individual even though we have we are enjoying it we also have to be responsible for our country and make sure each and every word we speak out each and every word we speak out it has to make sure that it should not hurt us and it should be it should give what do you say a pride to the place where you live in and also it should give same kind of pride to the country where you live in we are living in the best country and we are living in a wonderful country in the world that's really a, a hard question but make, making sure like you know we stress out like you know we extend the time from morning 6 7 till it goes forward till night 10 11 or even 12 one thing we really have to make sure is you know if we like or if we love to do some work we don't really stress out we don't really make sure like you know we don't really count the number of hours and we don't really even after working 18 hours 19 hours we don't really stress out we have to make sure that whatever the work we do we have to love to do so i personally say i love to do this work so we are doing service so we have to make sure that service is the one which we have to love and once we have such kind of you know uh, uh, intention or love towards the service we really don't have to worry about the number of hours and we really have to worry about the stress at all so even though after 18 hours of work each and every minute each and every hour which we work as we love to do it we don't really stress out and uh, we say the balance between the work life and the personal life it really has to be understood by our partner and the family that we are doing service to the country and service to the region so i believe the family and the better the staff they really do understand and make sure as we are doing service to the country and for the people they help us out and they support us the biggest strength i could possess from my side is my education patience and love towards my constancy and uh, i truly believe in service i truly believe in service and make sure that you know each and every minute i work through i have to work for the people so whatever the work i am doing as i love to do such kind of work i really make sure that goes on so advice to the youth on politics is you know we have a such kind of scenario in the uh, outside world especially in india when we talk about politics when we see a politician uh, people tend to be like you know a little bit one step away which is not really needed which is not really needed as 
the the nlc national legislative conference is saying that is really true youth has to step forward youth has to really understand the democratic country and make sure it is not such kind of profession it is not such kind of profession we really we really, we really have to calculate after 5 years after 5 years after 5 years we have to calculate or we have to make sure that we are doing service to the public we are doing service to the society we have to make sure that the laws which we are making are really applicable to the poor people and make sure that each and every law we are making is within the democratic country laws which would be really helpful for the development of the country and we have we really have to make sure to bring out all the best practices from the other states and also from the other countries and where we get a lot lot of uh, accessibility to discuss in the state assembly as well as in the parliament so i request each and every youth to be part of politics to come into the politics and make sure you understand the democracy and also the need the need for you to serve believe in serving and make sure you love you have love towards the community and society and also about bharat india and i request each and everyone to be part of the development of the country